There is some struggles continue. Could a QTF launch reverse the trend? Veronica Bremecker verified by Balina Boskova. Last updated, July 8th, 2024, at 50 cent, three 3 20 minutes rid of. In this report, we examine Ethereum's performance in June 2024. Despite the complicated trends in its price, Crypto News delves into network activities, breaks down important updates within the ecosystem, and explores what they could mean for Ethereum's future. Key takeaways. ETH price declined 10.44% from $303 to $3,406 in June. Fear surrounding potential BTC price dump and declining institutional investment contributed it to the price drop. CCC delayed approval of spot and ETFs, pushing launch to mid to late July, further dampening sentiment. Daily active addresses in kinks from 384.2k to 466.k in June, with a peaking for 610 coin in coin in June 2022. However, the number of new addresses created decreased by 14.8% in June, and Hingfang and TVL dropped 13% and from $66.9 billion to $58.3 billion in June. Ethereum transaction fees dropped to 19 lows due to finished Ethereum activity to layer 2 networks. AP forwarding in and fee for reverses transaction costs on layer 2 networks, but that all decreased ETH burden on the mainnet, potentially impacting future inflation. Ethereum has maintained its lead in X trading volume, but Solana is gaining ground. Global NFT sales volume decreased by 25% compared to May. Ethereum has led NFT volume, but experienced a significant 17% decline in June. The number of daily Ethereum NFT sellers reached its lowest level since June 2021. What you'll find in this QNM analysis. What is Ethereum ETH price drops despite anticipated spot ETF boost Ethereum ETFs? Green light given, but when will? They trade to Ethereum's network activity, Ethereum ecosystem, um, updates Ethereum-based protocols and debts, Ethereum and NFTs, Ethereum meme coins, Ethereum in June, a mixed bag with an uncertain future for this Ethereum. Founded in 2013 by Vitalik Buterin, Ethereum serves as a distributed blockchain computing platform designed for the execution of smart contracts and decentralized applications, apps of the Network enables users to create and innovate extensively with smart contracts, catalyzing the emergence of various assets and industries such as decentralized finance and non-fungible tokens, FT, decentralized autonomous organizations, DAOs, with 3 and Pan. At its core, Ethereum features an execution engine tailored for smart contract processing, known as the Ethereum Virtual Machine, EVM. In addition, AM employs a proof-of-stake consensus mechanism which enhances its scalability and sustainability. Its price drops despite anticipated spot ETF boost. June 2024 saw Ethereum, a price on a roller coaster, ultimately trending downwards. Fear surrounding a potential Bitcoin, PTCC price dump, and declining institutional investment in Ethereum funds put significant pressure on the price. Eighth stall down of the month at $3,803 fell to $3,258 on June 24th, and then rust slightly needs to $3,380 on June 30th. On June 30th, the price settled at $3,406, a 10.4% decline from the Epilipine Pimpas and Chifard. Taking four hours of an D30 June Health Hall. Several factors concluded that the CK price remained in the below through all stakes for the current endure. These factors include worsening macroeconomic conditions, lack of institutional demand suggesting waning interest from larger investors, and regulatory uncertainty surrounding the Ethereum ecosystem. Ethereum's exchange-traded products, EBS, endured a tumultuous last week of June, recording their highest outflow since August 2022, according to CoinShares' report from June 30th. Ethereum saw the largest outflow since August 2022, totaling $61 million, bringing the last two weeks of outflows to $119 million, making the worst performing asset year to date in terms of net flows, the report said. The anticipated launch of spot Ethereum exchange traded funds, ETFs in the United States on July 6 was expected to fuel a price rise for each. However, the Securities and Exchange Commission has delayed the process. The SEC requested resubmissions of S1 forms related to the ETFs by July 8th. This development, according to Bloomberg senior fan analyst Eric Balchonas, 
pushes back the potential launch of these ETFs mid to late July. Ethereum ETF ring light given, but when will they trade? On May 23, the SEC approved eight 19 billions minus four filings to list spot Ethereum ETFs on various U.S. exchanges. However, these ETFs have to begin trading until they receive the necessary S1 registration statement approvals. The exact timeline for the launch of spot Ethereum ETFs remains uncertain. The SEC has taken additional time to return S1 forms submitted by prospective spot Ethereum ETF issuers, pushing the launch to mid-July or later. Unlike 19B to 4 forms, S1 forms don't have a set deadline for SEC approval. This means that issuers must wait for the SEC to complete its review and approval process, which can be unpredictable. On June 17th, asset management firm Bitwise submitted an amendment to their spot Ethereum ETF proposal, a move mirrored by other major asset managers like Fidelity and VAC. On June 25, Fidelity disclosed a $4.7 million seed investment in its Ethereum ETF, as recorded in its recent SEC filing. VANAC also filed Form 8AA, registration step that allows the to trade on an exchange once the product has been approved. Meanwhile, Hashdex proposed a novel ETF combining spy Bitcoin and Ethereum in a filing on June 18, reflecting a strategic diversification in response to market demand. The proposed ETF would balance the crypto assets according to their market capitalizations, which, as of May 27, was 70.54% Bitcoin and 2 to 9.46% Ethereum. Spot ETF expected to drive up ETH price. Following the success of spot Bitcoin ETFs, the introduction of spot Ethereum ETFs is expected to attract significant capital inflows, which will likely drive up the price of ETH. Galaxy Vice President of Research Charles UU predicts up to $7.5 billion flowing into Ethereum ETFs within the first five months post-approval, highlighting a substantial demand from institutional and retail investors. K33 analysts Settle Lundy and David Zimmerman said in a July 2 report that the launch of spot Ethereum ETFs will outperform Bitcoin in the weeks after they go live in the U.S. Analysts at Vanek, which has applied a list of spot Ethereum ETF, have raised their 33 price prediction for G to $22,000. Vanek attributed this. Revised forecast to the impact of the Ethereum UCF news, advancements in scaling technology, and an analysis of on-chain data. Bitwise's chief investment officer, Mamad Hugenbrun, projects that spot Ethereum ETFs could attract as much as $15 billion by the end of 2025, suggesting a significant shift in how global Twitter's Ethereum. Mad Zeberhardt, a senior analyst at Standard Research, also predicts that spot but Ethereum ETFs could see net inflows of $15 to $20 billion in the first time of lens, but a chimpley pushing the price to $6,500 by the end of 2024. However, market sentiment remains divided. Andrew Kang, a founder of the venture capital firm Mechanism Capital, cautions that the launch of Ethereum ETFs lead to a short-term price decline for ETH. According to Kang, it attracts less institutional interest than Bitcoin. Despite these concerns, the long-term outlook remains bullish, with predictions that each price could outperform Bitcoin following the ETF's launch. Ethereum's network activity. Ethereum has seen a slight increase in network activity over the past month. Daily active addresses in Ethereum increased from 384 coins to K addresses on June 1st to 466 coins to K addresses on June 3rd. On June 22, the number of active Ethereum addresses jumped from approximately 372.8K to more than 610.8K. The number of active addresses grew by 64%. Apart from the rumors about the spot Ethereum ETFs, that it didn't seem to be anything important happening on June 22. The only thing that could be relevant is the extremely low gas fees on the Ethereum blockchain on that day and during. though, And then it could be a reason why the number of daily active addresses increased in June. However, in contrast to the number of daily active addresses, the number of new addresses created on the Ethereum network in June decreased by 14.8% to 326 million. The Ethereum network also saw a slight 2% decrease in daily transactions in June, from 45.8 million in May to 35 and high five million in June. However, the number of transactions has generally remained stable over the last three months. Despite starting June strong, there was also a significant decrease in Ethereum's total value locked detail during June. 
On June 6, the Therius TVL reached $66.9 billion and since then has been steadily declining, reaching $58.3 billion on June 30 and hemorrhaging a 13% decrease within two of five. Days. Investors move ETH off exchanges. Data from CryptCoin indicates a significant decline in the amount of ETH held on cryptocurrency exchanges. As of June 3, exchange balances reached a four-year low of 16.6 million each, surpassing the previous low recorded in July 2021. This trend of ETH outflows coincides with a rise in the altcoin's price, suggesting reduced selling pressure and a potential shift in investor behavior. It could indicate a preference for holding each for the long term, with users storing their tokens in private wallets or dApps. Cryptocurrency data further reveals a steady increase in staked on the Ethereum beacon chain. By June 30, the total staked had reached 33.3 million, nearly double the amount held on exchanges. This growth is significant, especially after the Ethereum Shanghai upgrade in March 2023. This update made it possible for users to withdraw their staked ETH if they wanted it by removing the previous requirement that locked the tokens. Despite this, the data shows that most users have chosen not to withdraw their tokens. This likely reflects the advantages of staking, like earning rewards and helping to stabilize the network, which may be more valuable to them than the ability to sell immediately. Ethereum supply continues to grow. One of the most notable developments over the past few months has been the continued inflation of the Ethereum supply, with over 112,000 added to the overall supply since April 15th, according to ultrasound.many. This extended inflationary activity is largely due to the DenCon upgrade that was implemented on March 13th. The upgrade included a series of non-attorney improvement proposals. Is that the EIP-14844 appears to be the primary driver for the current inflation fund. While EIP-4844 has significantly reduced transaction costs on Layer 2 networks like Arbitrum and Optimism, it has come at a cost. The total amount of EIP burn on the Ethereum minute has decreased significantly. Figure and in. Transaction fees dropped to multi-year lows. The cost of conducting transactions on the Ethereum network has fallen to its lowest level in years. Gas prices, which determine transaction fees, have dipped below $3. On June 3rd, the average gas price on Ethereum was $2.49. The decrease in gas fees is, is attributed to a shift in activity away from Ethereum's mainnet to its Layer 2 networks, a consequence of the March Dencon upgrade. Layer 2 networks are designed to handle transactions more efficiently in the mainnet, potentially leading to lower fees. Ethereum Ecosystem Updates June 2024 was a month of mixed signals for the Ethereum ecosystem. While advancements in scalability and user adoption were celebrated, concerns regarding governance and regulatory hurdles emerged. AIP 7732 for FASTA. Ethereum. Ethereum developers introduced a new Ethereum improvement proposal, EIP 7732, aimed at overhauling the block validation process to enhance blockchain speed. The proposal seeks to improve the blockchain security and performance by separating block validation into two distinct features, consensus and execution. IED sent that in 732 tons to the increasing demand for efficiency on the Ethereum. Blockchain in alliance with Ethereum company founder Vitalik Buterin's push for faster transaction confirmation times. Governance concerns. A June 3 report by Galaxy Digital raised concerns about Ethereum's decentralized governance. The report suggests that key stakeholders hold significant influence through off-chain voting channels. This raises questions about the true level of decentralization in Ethereum's decision-making process. According to the report, the groups collaborating on the off-chain process include client teams, valid other node operators, the Ethereum Foundation, and decentralized application developers. AC investigation closure on June 18th. An ecosystem developer consensus announced that the SEC had closed its investigation into whatever Ethereum could be classified as a security and consensus role in ETH sales. This news followed a legal battle that consensus initiated in April after receiving a Wells notice from the SEC indicating potential enforcement action against its MetaMask wallet for possible violations of securities laws. At their Ethereum based protocols and DEX, June 2024 witnessed significant developments in the decentralized exchange ecosystem, particularly on the Ethereum network. 
Despite the emergence and growth of Layer 2 scaling solutions such as Optimism, Basis Arbitrum, and Sync, Ethereum continues to face intense competition from alternative blockchain platforms with low transaction fees like Solana, the DMB chain, and ThorChain. Market dynamics and competitive pressures, according to DapRadar, the BM in chain, overtook Ethereum and secured the first place among the top blockchains, analyzing smart contracts number of dApps, DeFi TGL transactions, NFT and DAP volume over the last 30 days that it had hinted from July 3rd. Ethereum saw a sharp decline in Intel and Tidal Yield, indicating that the user base is shrinking while the remaining users are depositing more or seeing their portfolios increase in value. Decreased by 32% to 1.77 million for the month, while Ethereum maintains its crown for UBL and DAX volume as such is rise day. In June, Ethereum up to $48.7 billion in DAX volume, earning 1.6% market share. But Solana surged into 38 form for Bitcoin Tours, their 30% market share. The significant gain by Solana demonstrates a growing threat to Ethereum's dominance in the DEX space. Ethereum sees Massive transaction surge on its sailing solutions, the Ethereum network achieved a new milestone well for transaction processing. L2BEAT data reveals that on June 20, Ethereum scaling solutions encompassing both Layer 2 and Layer 3 blockchain collectively processed transactions at a record rate of 285.26 TPS. Interestingly, the majority of transactions occurred on Sly and a new Ethereum Layer 3 scaling. Solution designed specifically for gaming edge events. It is powered by Afnlaz, the same team behind the well established Arbitrum 1 blockchain. Big boost for games on Arbitrum. The governance DAO of Ethereum Layer 2 Network Arbitrum approved the Ganging Catalyst program to allocate 225 million RB and RP15 million dollars to support the gaming project on the network. <laughs> Three year program aims to make Arbitrum, Orbit, and Stylus components of the Arbitrum ecosystem household names in the gaming world. By fostering growth and engagement, the team hopes to build a thriving gaming community on their network. Uniswap Foundation postpones vote on incentives. The Uniswap Foundation, the governing body of the popular decentralized exchange Uniswap, postponed a crucial vote on Uni, staking, and delegation rewards. Originally scheduled for May 31st, the vote was delayed due to a concern raised by a stakeholder. On June 1st, Uniswap Labs partnered with, with Web3 payment infrastructure provider Transac to provide fiat on-ramping services. Uniswap wallet users will be able to purchase crypto directly with fiat in the wallet. Optimism takes big step toward decentralization. On June, then Ethereum's layer to scaling solution. Optimism achieved a critical milestone on its path to becoming a fully decentralized network. The development team, OpLabs, integrated fault proofs into the platform's smart contracts. This advancement marks optimism reaching stage one of a decentralization roadmap outlined by Ethereum company founder Vitalik Buterin. At least four of other networks built on the optimism stack base metal mode and Zover are also expected to integrate fault proofs soon. Memask introduces staking service with consensus validators. And in June 12, crypto wallet provider MetaMask launched its staking service, enabling users to pool their funds and stake their assets with enterprise-grade validators audited by blockchain software company Consensys. With this service, MetaMask wallet users can stake their ETH without needing to meet Ethereum's substantial minimum requirement of 3288, approximately $97,500 at the current price. MetaMask staking pool allows users to contribute less than the required aid and still receive staking rewards or for helping secure the network. Eigenair shields dApps from Sybil attacks, a major highlight for Eigenair. A restaking protocol in June was the enhancement of its agenda security on the Ethereum Minute. This additional feature is designed to combat Sybil attacks and distributed to Nihilo service those hacks, both major threats to the security of dApps and users. The Eigenlayer Foundation further bolstered its presence on June 12 by acquiring Rio Network, a restaking platform. Rio's intellectual property, including its innovative liquid staking token, our technology will be open sourced to benefit the Eigenlayer ecosystem. Blast rewards early users with AirDrop. On June 26, the Ethereum Layer 2 scaling network Blast distributed a significant AirDrop to its early supporters. 
This airdrop released 17% of the total token supply, rewarding users who helped build the networks. Ecoquest tipped 5% when you use user transferred funds of AN or USSR Blast onto the Blahat and Oric. Another 7% was distributed to those who actively but participated in TAPs built on the Blast. The remaining 3% went to the Blur Foundation, earmarked for future airdrops within their community. Blast, a native token of Blast, rallied a little over 40% from 2 cents per token to the point of $0.281 following them. Airdrop. Partnerships and Fundraising News Puffer Finance, a liquid staking derivatives SD project built on Ethereum restaking protocol Eigenlayer, partnered with the Ethereum Foundation. Together, they'll develop based rollups, a technology that streamlines transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. This news comes after Puffer's successful $18 million funding round to launch their main Renzo and Ethereum restaking protocol raised $17 million in a round led by Galaxy Ventures and another led by Brown Howard Digital Nova Fund. Ren's plan to continue developing its platform is scaling solutions. Phoenix, and have a career there to network developer, secured $15 million in a series of funding and launched its Helium focused on confidentiality and enhanced privacy for the Ethereum transactions. The Round was led by HackVC, participation from Def5, Ember Group, Primitive Ventures, GSR, Collider Ventures, and State Capital. Ethereum NFTs, global NFT sales volume reached $462.1 million in June, a decrease of 25% from the previous month. They once again set the ranking in NFT sale volume, but it experienced a significant downtrend like Solana and Bitcoin-based NFT. Collection. According to CryptoStam data, the sales volume of Ethereum is as few switched on 139 million in June, 17% less than in pain, 163 pinars. The data further revealed that the Ethereum network has attracted around 51k buyers and 45k sellers of FTs during last month. The number of NFT transactions for Ethereum reached more than 373. K in June, 16.5% less than the previous month, 147. The main number of daily Ethereum NFT sellers has fallen below 4,000 for the first time since June 2021. The number peaked at over 80K in February 2022 and has been declining ever since. According to the block data, monthly anti marketplace volumes on Ethereum have been declining since January 2024. And even in January, Volumes paled in comparison to the billions of dollars traded each month during the 120. Polar Harkin. In June, volumes didn't even exceed $300 million. With a trading volume of $229.22 million, Blur held a commanding lead in June, capturing a significant portion, approximately 76.5% of the total Ethereum and NFT market share. This further solidifies Blur's position as the dominant NFT marketplace. OpenSea saw a significant drop in trading volume, reaching only $50.11 million in June. This represents a market share of roughly 16.7%. Ethereum-based NFT collection CryptoPunks holds an interesting position. While typically not considered a traditional NFT marketplace, it managed to secure a trading volume of $15.77 million in June, accounting for the twice that he found the game of the sin of the total market share. The June 2020 debt review is a potential power shift within the Ethereum NFT mod. The emergence of cheaper alternative blockchains with lower transaction fees may be luring users away from Ethereum for NFT trading. While blue chip NFT collections still largely reside on Ethereum, the overall decline in trading activity suggests a changing landscape. Notable NFT launches in June Nostalgic Cartoons, June Run, June Zero Eight, a new NFT collection aims to evoke childhood nostalgia. The collection features 30 hand drawn 2D digital collectibles depicting characters reminiscent of classic cartoons. The artwork is described as meticulously crafted to capture the wonder and happiness associated with Saturday morning cartoons. Oregon Yun Zero Fabius Quan Twelve, stepping into the world of this collection of 288 FTs, viewers encounter a captivating fusion of traditional Oregon and the boundless potential of digital art. Each piece utilizes a vibrant color palette to transform a virtual sheet of paper into a fantastical creature, imbued with its own story and emotions. 
Fish cat planter in turn detention for me. This SD collection consists of 8,888 unique digital collectibles designed bring luck, happiness, and abundance to owners. The creators behind the project say that they invested over 18,000 hours into development. On August 8, 2024, holders of a Fushi Panda NFT will be granted exclusive access to a private presentation detailing the project's benefits. If it's reimagined a general specifically asset, remember early on, on, an NFT artist of the history of captivating digital collectibles has debuted her latest collection, if he has reimagined a series of 47 aggravated artworks, reimagines her prior FTLs faster than light species collection, showcasing her artistic vision through a unique blend of artificial intelligence and human intervention. The Hurricane in June, a mixed bag with uncertain future. Chukrim 2024 presented a complicated outlook for the Ethereum ecosystem. Although there were signs of progress in network activity, scaling efforts, and adoption, the month ended it. With disappointing price performance, fewer NFT sales, and ongoing regulatory uncertainties, Ethereum price dropped over 10% in June, influenced by several factors, including concerns over a possible Bitcoin price collapse and reduced interest from institutional investors. The is by the SEC pushed the expected launch of Ethereum ETFs, which were supposed to boost the price, into late July, further souring investor mood. Despite the price woes, some positive signs emerged on the network activity front. Daily active addresses on Ethereum saw a notable increase. However, this growth wasn't uniform, with the number of new addresses created actually decreasing. Transaction activity remained steady, indicating some users were taking a cautious stance. A drop in the total value locked to Van Hen. Ethereum S2 Five Pro calls might suggest a shift of capital away from these investments. The trend of investors moving EIC exchanges had continued in June, with exchange balances reaching a four-year low. This suggests a growing preference for holding the gate for the long term, with users often for staking or storing their tokens in private wallets. The rise of staked ETH on the Ethereum beacon chain further underscores this trend. However, the recent EIP 4844 upgrade, while significantly reducing transaction costs on later two networks, also decreased the amount of ETH branded on the mainnet. This raises concerns about the long-term impact on inflation, particularly if network activity doesn't pick up significantly. The DeFi and NFT features within the Ethereum ecosystem also witnessed this mixed. Result in June, the rise of alternative blockchains like BNB Chain, offering lower transaction fees, is posing a significant challenge to Ethereum's dominance. While Ethereum still leads in DEX trading volume, Solana is making significant strides. The decline in global NFT sales volume and the slump in daily Ethereum NFT sellers further highlight the competitive pressure Ethereum faces. The coming months will be crucial for Ethereum. The actual launch of spot Ethereum ETFs and their impact on price remain to be seen. Regulatory decisions and continued development of scaling solutions will also save Ethereum's future. Addressing concerns around guardians and fostering a more inclusive decision-making process will be critical for maintaining user charts. Ethereum's ability to adapt to the evolving blockchain landscape, navigate regulatory hurdles, and foster innovation will determine its success in the long run. Follow us as on Google News.